So what do you do if you're the lanky cyclist and you enter your first cyclocross race? Well then I guess there's only one thing left to do. What's that? Win the whole heckin' thing. Yeah. Yeah! All right, so I won, sort of. We'll get back to that. So yeah, Lanky did cyclocross for the first time in his life. It's something that I've wanted to try for a couple of years, but two years ago, I had some health issues that kind of derailed my attempted cyclocross season. And then last year, there was, I don't know, this pandemic thing going on. I almost let the 2021 season slip by. The very last second, I decided to enter. What race did I do? So I signed up for the heck of the North. Uh, which takes place in Wendy Park on Whiskey Island, right on Lake Erie, near downtown Cleveland. It's put on by Joy Machines Racing, which is affiliated with Joy Machines Bike Shop. Way too cold to be out here in a t-shirt. So what bike did I decide to race? The fat bike has been brought out of retirement. But Lanky, you sold the fat bike. You made a whole video about it. I did, and it's been for sale, but it just hasn't sold yet. So when I decided to sign up for a cyclocross race, I didn't want to take myself too seriously, so I thought, what better way to not take myself seriously in a cyclocross race than to ride it on a fat bike. So I entered the fat bike division, which along with the single speed race is the last race of the day, and it's, well, it's kind of nuts. Stand up, Freddy. Stand up, Freddy. Hell yeah! It only took me two turns to clip back in. Move it, Lanky! Hey, who put the skinniest guy on the fattest bike? <laughs> the puddle of doom. Oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting tired now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come Bike just keeps getting heavier. <laughs> One 
One more. What? They said three laps. Two, maybe three laps. Apparently we're doing four. What the? Oh, God damn, I cannot hit that. Taking down the course. Still out here, man. Uh, passing, coming through. So I was the only person that entered the fat bike division. Basically to win, I just had to finish. But I have to say that I'm pretty happy with my performance. I wanted to finish. I wanted to not get lapped by the fastest people. And I succeeded on both of those fronts. And I finished the third lap fast enough that I was still within the 30 minutes. So I had to go around and do a whole another fourth lap, which I hadn't expected. So instead of a 30 minute race like I had planned for, it ended up being like 37 minutes or so. Totally fell apart on that fourth lap, but it's all right. It was all in good fun. So what did I think about cyclocross? It was hilarious. Like I had so much fun during the race and it's such a cool, tight knit, awesome community of just other crazy nut job cyclists. I, I just, I absolutely loved it. I had a blast. So this is kind of my fear that I've always had about cyclocross, that if I tried it, like I would have a lot of fun and I would want to do more of it. And then I would kind of take it too seriously. But I think what I realized is that I don't know, there's definitely people out there that take it super serious and are like hardcore racers about it. And then, I don't know, there's a lot of other people that, that don't. And they're just out there to ride bikes and have fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't plan on making this a cyclocross channel, but if you haven't figured out by now, I like to try new things and I like to ride all the bikes. I had a blast. Am I gonna do this again? Yes, I've already signed up for another race here in about a month but I'm not gonna bring the fat bike this time. I'm gonna bring the Stigmata. Thank you to Joy Machines for putting on an awesome event. Thank you to my friend, Tim Fitzwater for taking some photos. Follow him on YouTube. So until next time, enjoy your ride. Nice kit. Hey.